What's up everybody, this is Scott. Welcome back to another video. Big release day today, tons of videos that are coming out, but I wanna do a quick comparison video between the night mode of the Google Pixel 4 XL as well as the night mode for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So without further ado, let me go ahead and get outside. It is pitch dark out here. I actually have the Pixel 4 light on so you can see my face. So a couple things that I wanna talk about with each of the cameras. One thing I noticed with the Google Pixel 4 XL was when I would hit the nighttime mode or I would hit night sight and I really wanted the astrophotography to allow for two and three and maybe even four minutes, it would just take like 10 seconds. I'm not really sure what trips it and makes it go into like the indefinite long exposure. Uh, yeah, I would really like to kind of understand that. I'm not really sure what could trip that. There are times when it was really dark that would only stay on for maybe 10 seconds. And other times where I thought it would only come on for a few seconds, it was saying it wanted a minute, minute and a half or two minutes. So really like to understand exactly how that works. Same thing with the iPhone. One cool thing I, I think the iPhone is gonna be able to do is the fact that it can elongate that 30 seconds from a night mode exposure perspective. Right now, that's the longest that I've seen it. Although with the Pixel 4 XL, I've seen it go above four minutes to come out with some amazing shots. So I think maybe a software update with the iPhone, it'll be able to do that. But it looks as though the Pixel 4 XL, again, in typical Google fashion with the Pixel line at this point, is really doubling down on the photography mode. You see in some of these shots that the photos that come out of both of the cameras and both of the smartphones, let's keep in mind that this is a smartphone, they look exquisite. When I have the chance to use a tripod with either one of those, you get some really amazing shots. I just really like and prefer the style that comes out of the Pixel 4 XL more often than not. That doesn't mean that the photos that come out of the iPhone are bad. It's just I think that the Pixel ones look a lot better. From an astrophotography mode, I really enjoy what I'm getting out of the Pixel 4. But to be completely honest, you should be able to enjoy what comes out of the iPhone as well. Both of them are exquisite. So that's it, that's all I have. This was again, a quick video to tell you what's the difference between the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the Google Pixel 4 XL. As always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment below. And I've gotta get out of here because I think people are probably gonna arrest me. See you next time.